So in this location at Pumpkin Spring, you can see where two waters are coming together. We have the water of the Colorado River gathering rain and snow from the high Rockies and flowing through Grand Canyon National Park. And we have the waters of Pumpkin Spring, that is a groundwater, an indigenous water rising up from the earth right here in the Grand Canyon. As the river carves the canyon deeper and deeper, the springs come out at lower and lower elevations. In a way, they're chasing the river as it cuts downward. We can see that example in the rock deposits that are behind me, which is the position where this spring used to be thousands of years ago. And it's moved its way down the slope as the river cuts down and intersects the circulation system at deeper levels. As the water comes up and precipitates because of the degassing of CO2, which we can see constantly happening right here, it forms a cistern, a natural catchment for this lower world water. And then it slowly discharges over the side. And it's in the process of that spillover along the edges that it builds up a millimeter at a time, little layers of calcium carbonate that form a natural barrier allowing the spring, in a way analogous to a volcano, to build itself a container higher and higher. Before there was a dam on the Colorado River, the high spring floods would come down and occasionally break into the side of this deposit, causing it to rebuild itself anew uh, during the seasons where the water levels were low.